they were due to go back to school. But instead, university and school students donned masks and took to the streets of Hong Kong again as part of three-month-old anti-government protests. Workers were also called to strike, though participation was lower after a weekend that saw some of the worst violence since demonstrations began. Some protesters disrupted the morning commute on the city's subway by blocking train doors. Officers responded with batons and made several arrests. They should talk to the government, but not bother citizens. It's very troublesome to disrupt traffic during rush hours. People need to work. I think violence is not the best solution, though protesters are looking for a more peaceful method to express their demands to the government. But sometimes when even assembly isn't allowed, it's difficult to express our demands. Clashes between police and protesters have become increasingly violent, with police criticized for their use of force. Hong Kong officials robustly defended their actions in the face of unrest. Despite the dangers and the difficulties they are faced with, they still discharge their statutory duties with courage and commitment. Compared to what they do with law enforcement agencies overseas, I think they are exercising strong restraint. But pictures of violence from the weekend have hardened views. Amnesty International called them horrifying and has called for an investigation.